this was uh, framed at least by uh, the United States as a, a working visit and one where uh, the two leaders would likely spend much of that hour just uh, the two of them discussing really what is going on in Ukraine, exchanging notes about uh, their recent meetings with uh, President Zelensky and also uh, really working out and uh, how to go forward uh, with their cooperation uh, with uh, helping Ukraine as well as their cooperation with holding Russia accountable. And we heard uh, when the two leaders uh, spoke really a, a message in lockstep, to use the words of uh, those leaders. Uh, there was this show of unity, uh, a show of uh, resilience also, uh, the message being that they uh, were going to continue uh, doing this, supporting uh, Ukraine uh, together. Now, uh, President Biden did thank Olaf uh, Scholz not only for the military support that the Germans have sent uh, to the Ukrainians, but also for, quote, the moral support that uh, Germany has provided uh, to uh, the uh, Ukrainians, both uh, leaders insisting on uh, the strong relationship between uh, the two countries and how important it was to show that a strong uh, relationship, not directly mentioning Russia, but of course, uh, this was a message uh, for Russia. We are not divided. We allies are uh, united. Olaf Schultz uh, saying that uh, exactly, saying that it was important to give the message that we will continue to do so, uh, meaning help and support Ukraine as long as it takes, as long as it takes, of course, a message that uh, the U.S. president has been repeating over and over again, we will stand with Ukraine as long as it takes. And this was really the core of this meeting uh, for these two leaders. Besides what they discussed privately, uh, the message going out to the world, the unity of the alliance, uh, besides just the U.S. and Germany, but all the alliance, and that steadfast support for the Ukrainians.